Hey folks, fast ready to be here. I'm on the San Regis canoe area with my son Fred. We're getting ready to head out. Headed down to the water here to sign in. He's signing us in right now. You gonna sign us in, Fred? Okay. Give me a look around. This is the this is the boat launch. We had a nice parking lot here. Nice boat launch. You're in power only, so I don't think you're gonna bring a bring in a power boat here. Absolutely no fishing on this pond whatsoever allowed. This is a breeder pond for the state, for the DEC, New York State DEC. They breed their lake trout in here. Monsters. But if you get caught fishing here, you'll wish you hadn't. Hey, wait till I'm done on the camera and I'll give it to you. All right, this is the sign in. I'll focus on each one of these and you can stop them if you want to read any of this. This is a state land canoe area. You see, no motor vehicles, no boats, no aircraft, no snowmobiles. They don't even let planes fly over here. Absolutely no fishing. And this is a little clear pond. I don't want to show anybody's names on that thing. I don't want to put anybody else's cell phone numbers out. But you can stop this anywhere and read any of this. It's beautiful here. A little windy on our first leg in. We paddle across the pond and we're going to be traveling right between those two islands over there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, if it's going to come out or not. I'm going to focus on that. But... It's a little windy for our first paddle, but we should be all right once we get past this. All our paddles are pretty sheltered, so. I'm gonna be putting a DSLR away, and we'll get back at you when we get, when we get in where we're going. Good one, folks. Tell everybody hi, Fred. Hi. <laughs> Here we go. Hey folks, Fast Freddy D back at ya. We finally got to our campsite. We hustled in here. I don't got no video of us setting it up because we were just trying to get set up. You can see the sky behind me. It's 50-50 if we're gonna get some rain. We made it into St. Regis Pond. This is part of the St. Regis. This is the main pond in the St. Regis Canoe area in the Adirondack Park. Um, this is our site <laughs> where we came in on. That's my son over there. Do a little walk through, give you a let, let you see what the place looks like. Huh? It's not bad. There's Fred's tent. He's got that set up. My tent up there. One of the things I love about this scent, these campsites I don't know if you can read that, but it says privy. And if you walk yourself over here, Let's 
See, they give you a little potty to use. Nothing major, but it's better than nothing. You can see, I'll give you a little squat back in the woods a little bit here. Sure beats the hell out of squirrel in a tree. Well, that's it for now. Something interesting has happened. We'll fire up the camera later on and get a few more words with you. Till then, see you in a little bit. You gotta remember these knife names. The names are nice. Mine's an old timer. That one I bought off the of Amazon. No, this is an old timer, this one. Mm -hmm. Classic. What's that one? Trade? Gerber. Oh, it's a Gerber. Oh, Gerber makes good knives. Yeah. You don't have to spend $500 on a knife to get a decent knife. I bought that, I believe, like, that old timer right there for like six bucks and this one was well nine out of ten times you can you can tell a nice made out of good steel just by feeling the steel and all the heaviness of it still a little bit upset amazon doesn't sell that knife anymore this one mm -hmm. 
probably have to order a fuel thing. Oh yeah, that's perfect. My perfect medium rare. Yeah, I've had those porks. Uh, one we got at Walmart. Yeah. This one I bought online. It's titanium. This is Walmart's finest. Made out of plastic. I would dare say that the titanium one's a little heavier. Very Titanium's heavy. never never going to rust. This is a lifetime. But they both cost the same price, about $9. Isn't there like a metal one down at um, Walmart as well? Walmart has some titanium ones, but they were a little bit more. Actually, no, that was like what? That was only like two, three bucks. Their like titanium one was nine bucks. The one that's like this one. Yeah. So you don't have to go online and spend a ton of money. You know, you can go right to Walmart and get a lot of stuff. People can put that down and all they want, but there are certain things you don't have to spend five hundred bucks on. At least in my opinion. Some things are worth it, but not everything is worth it. No, I say this a lot in my videos. I don't like to spend more than 20 bucks. Around 20 bucks. Sometimes I'll spend 30. Yeah. No. No, no. My chair might have been 29. I think I might have spent 29 bucks on my, night, my chair. But I very rarely spend more than 20 bucks on stuff. That's a really good chair, though. Yeah, so far. I've used it, what, three, three camper trips now? Mm -hmm. And then just puttering around the house yeah. a dozen times at least. It was funny trying to put that up and put that together at the first time we got the it. The first time before it stretched? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are a problem. What's the name on that? I mentioned it in one of my other videos. Um, what's the name on the side right there? Wolfen? Yeah, Wolfwise. Yeah. Wolfwise. Wolfwise. Yeah, got that on Walmart. I'll leave a link to it. You've seen it in the video today. Got some good eats going on. We're gonna turn the camera off and see what we can eat. And we'll get back to you folks later on. We we'll get some fish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You put it on me. I can't get it on my hands. Is there a way you can turn, uh, loosen up the camera turning? some neighbors over across the pond. They came in before dark. So, 
What was your favorite part of the day? The walk in. The walk? Yeah. That was your favorite? I think my favorite was um, almost drowning coming across that pond. <laughs> that was pretty fun. That was pretty exciting, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I had my nerves up. That wind was blowing pretty good. We were going across a couple of, there was probably one foot chop out there in some spots. Yeah, those kayaks are pretty good against those. Uh, they sit pretty low in the water, those ones do. Yeah. That's why we need, a, we need a canoe for the two of us. We're going to do much of this this summer. It's alright using the kayak when I'm by myself, but with you and all the extra gear, canoe would be nice. Yeah. We'll go shopping for one after we get done our 4th of July vacation. Take Chum to the vet. Yeah. So, that was the end of that. Well, that's the end of day one on St. Lucas Pond. Well, folks, that's a wrap for day one. <sighs> Looks like I'll see everybody in the morning.
it's on. Hey folks, well that's the end of our weekend. Fred and I are on our way home. We're coming back down through 11 Mile Woods. Um, hope everyone enjoyed our video. Thanks for coming. If you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button and um, keep an eye out for our next videos and join us next time. Have a good one.